final emerging or re-emerging technology and in infrastructure in infrastructure technology that you need to be aware of is 3D printing. When 3D printing first emerged, it was a technology trend. Remember the technology adoption curve from earlier in the presentation? Now, 3D printing is re-emerging as one of the strongest technologies poised to impact infrastructure construction. Advancements in materials and robotics have allowed 3D printing to re-emerge. Let's think back to the technology adoption curve at the beginning of the presentation. Technology adoption was first approached by innovators. In this figure, the first curve represents the innovator's attempt to adopt the trending technology. The dip represents the failure to adopt, thus categorizing the technology as a trend. However, in the case of 3D printing, the technology re-emerges when surrounding technologies such as BIM, material development, and robotics achieve greater adoption and functionality. Now, 3D printing is emerging again as a solution to constructing infrastructure projects faster. Advancements in materials and robotics have allowed 3D... Oh, did I do that? In labs all over the world, we're generating new materials to allow us to build faster with higher quality materials. With the emergence of 3D printed concrete, Monroe Limited, an innovative manufacturing facility near Ontario, Canada, is 3D printing infrastructure products such as frames and covers for manhole access. A Chinese builder was able to produce 10 $5,000 concrete 3D printed homes in one day. Materials aren't the only advancement that's allowing 3D printing to be looked at again for infrastructure. Robotics have created the opportunity for additive manufacturing to be performed on site. With guidance from a 3D model, robots are capable of 3D printing in the field and not just in a workshop or a lab. We'll witness additive manufacturing robots on site in increasing rates constructing pipes in the field in accordance to the project model and part specifications, no more ordering, just programming. In Amsterdam, MX3D is leading efforts to use material advancements in high-strength steel and robotics to build a pedestrian bridge. So MX3, let me just start this. MX3 has been developing robotic 3D printing since 2015 with the goal of 3D printing a pedestrian bridge over a canal in the red light district of Amsterdam. They use their robots to draw steel structures based on using guidance from 3D models. The robots print on three axes allowing construction of the bridge to happen on site and not in a manufacturing workshop. The robots are essentially welding drops of steel over a period of time. They experienced challenges along the way, and uh, like their welder exploded and their robot got disoriented, but they persisted and they were able to start um, building lines and curves in, in what seemed to be mid-air. So there's our robot being disoriented and now the, um, the robot's able to produce these welds um, in curves and lines in, in, um, on the site. So they've built a couple mock-ups in Amsterdam already. They've built a resin model um, at the site of the, um, of the bridge and they have done, I believe they're on their third or fourth test of the bridge itself. Um, this one is a small mock-up, as you can see the owner and CEO walking across. And what the uh, strategy is, is to have the two robots on either end of the, um, of the banks of the, of the canal meet in the middle um, with, the designed, um, with the designed bridge. So uh, 3D printing is definitely going to change the, con the way that we're um, constructing, especially using different materials such as um, you know, the high-strength steel 
and uh, 3D concrete. And there's many other materials being looked at to apply to these types of scenarios. So we've covered the most prominent emerging infrastructures, um, infrastructure technologies in our webinar today. Um, unmanned aerial, aerial vehicles are increasingly being used to analyze existing conditions, perform infrastructure inspections, and to provide updates to our construction projects. The Internet of Things is delivering data faster than we can process it, but we're learning to prioritize, store, and distribute the data to plan, construct, and monitor our global civil infrastructure. 3D printing is a re-emerging technology now that materials and robotics have advanced to a level where the technologies can interact to construct infrastructure on site. So before you leave, uh, think about how your organization will adapt to adopt these emerging technologies. <laughs>